everyone, welcome to today's workout. So this is an all-in-one today. It's a little bit longer of a workout, but just give it a try. Slow down the pace if you need to, or pick it up, of course, if you need to as well. We're gonna be doing cardio, strength, balance, and stretching, and of course, some core exercises too. So have a, a set of dumbbells ready for the strength exercises, and that's about it. Let's get started. So we're just gonna get started with some warm-up exercises. So let's just start with a light walk. Let's bring our arms up to about shoulder height. Let's breathe in and out. Bring them down, breathing in and out. One more time and out. Good, let's bring the arms forward and breathing out again and in and out. Last one. Excellent. Let's just bring one arm up, one arm down, and we're just going to switch the direction to stretch those arms. And one more time. And let's just bring the shoulders back. And the wrists, of course. Other direction. Let's relax the feet for a second. Let's sit back in our chair, bring one foot up, just flexing the toes with the foot and back. So bring the toes forward and back one more time. And then just rotating the ankle and the other direction. Switching sides, we're bringing that foot up, flexing and pointing. And then rotating. Other direction. And let's go back into that light walk. Let's just bring the hands out to the side, just pressing the arms out to the side. And bringing the hands together and just pressing the hands forward. And then just bring one foot up and the other side. One more time on each side. Good. Back into that walk. Let's just bring the arms forward. So just like we're swimming. It's already halfway done our warm up. And then let's just bring the arms overhead. And one more time. Let's just bring the arms to the side and small circles. Other direction. And let's kind of go with the music here. So just tapping a the toes forward. Just relaxing the arms for a little bit. And then let's just tap the heels forward. Let's get the arms into it. So bring the arms back and forth. Now if your shoulders bother you, you can just have it go into a different position. Do whatever works for you for your arms. I know a lot of people have shoulder issues. And this time we're gonna add the arms in and then press that heel forward. Now, if this is too much, you can always do one arm at a time. Trying to sit up straight, keeping your abs tight. We're going to be picking up the pace a little bit at the five minute mark, but if you feel that this pace is right for you, then you just stick with it. Okay, let's do some high knees. So you're just bringing the knee up to whatever height works for you. Okay. 
and going back into a walk and then just pressing the hands back to feel that in your triceps. So you're flexing the triceps here. And finding that piece, the beat of the music. So you can pick it up a bit. Let's tap forward again. Works a little bit better with that song. Here we go. Okay, for the next one, we are just going to take a step out and do go like a jumping jack, but we're just doing singles here. Now, if it's easier for you, you can sit on the edge of your chair. It gives you a little bit more of an ability to be able to move a little bit easier. And this time we are going to just punch to the side and take a step out. If you find that makes you dizzy by looking from side to side, just keep your gaze in front. Pressing. And going into an ice skater. So it's kind of like having your feet like this and you're just going back and forth. So it's just tapping a foot back. So just doing your best. And going back into that tapping out, let's have the hands in front. We're gonna do one row, other side, double. This one can be a little bit confusing, so just do your best here. It's good for our brains as well. And let's just go back into a walk. So going at the pace that works for you here. You can pick it up if you want for the 30 seconds. Or just slow it down. And getting the arms into position, we're gonna do a chest press here and just tapping back and forth. Trying to keep those arms tight. If this is too fast, you can do singles, just bring one arm forward at a time. And this time we are just going to kick and punch. So kick with your heel here. And then we're going to go into the elbow to the knee for our abs. 
So let's go here. So elbow to the knee. So sitting up straight, flexing those abs. Last one here. And then just stepping out and we're gonna punch up and in front. Sitting up straight. Last one. And then we're just kind of bringing a, a foot in front. So you're just stepping in front and punching. And going into that tap out again, and we're just punching up, center, and down. Keeping those abs tight here. Last one. And down. And let's just go into a bit of a dance here. So you can kind of have your feet still and just move your body, keep those abs tight. Move however it feels right for you. Or move those feet. And let's go into that single jack. So just one arm out. If you want to do more, you can do both arms at the same time. And then let's just tap a foot back and work those triceps again. So really press those arms back or those hands back. Squeeze those triceps. And now let's just press front and to the side. Just going into a walk. Keep the arms to the side and you're just going to let's uh, tap the toes because otherwise it's kind of confusing and you're just pressing the hands back to feel that in your arms finding the beat of the music Okay, last one, just punching back and forth again. And then we are going to go into some strength training.
Okay, so we're going to do one minute of each strength training exercise. So for the first one, we are just going to either, you can either do a sit to stand if you are able to stand, that is really good for strengthening your legs, or you're just going to do single leg extensions. So you decide I'm gonna do these just because it is a seated class, and I think a lot of people will be doing this one, but by all means, do the sit to stands if you're able. So really concentrating on flexing the quads here as you bring that foot up. You're tightening everything here. And last set here. Good, keeping one foot up, just bringing it out and back in. This one's a little bit harder. Let's just do five at a time. Bring that foot down, let's switch to the other side. And one more. Other side again. Just do as many as you can. Other side. One more time each side. And five, and last time on the other side. Again, let's go into a calf raise, lifting those heels up and then bringing the toes up. So heels to toes. If you want to add in the arms, you can do a bicep curl here. exercise we're going to pick up our weights. Now you don't have to use weights but it definitely helps to build strength and to build muscle. If your calves are getting tired you can take a break here. Let's take a nice deep breath in and breathing out. Last one. Excellent. Grab the weights. We are going to go into a back row. So sitting on the edge of your chair, if you can, leaning forward, lifting the elbows up to the ceiling and back down. So just continue for a minute. So when you bring the weight up, really concentrate on squeezing that upper back. So I'm just gonna turn to the side just so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just leaning forward a little bit. Last one. Now if you can, sit on the edge of your chair, lean back in your chair and you're just pressing the weight up. Now if you can't do that, you can also just press the weight forward and back in. So whatever is, um, whatever you're able to do, just go for that one. Feel free to take a break if you need to. Let's just do one more here. And then sit up straight, take a nice deep breath in, and breathe out. 
Let's have the arms down to the side, work on our shoulders, bring the weight up, forward, and down. If that's too hard, just do one arm at a time. So trying to sit up straight, taking a break when you need it. working on our shoulders here. Now if you have bad shoulders, if you've got pain in your shoulders, just do it without weight. And let's just do one more after this one. Taking a nice deep breath again and breathing out. Let's go into our bicep curl. So we're just going to bring the weight up and all the way down. So focusing on those biceps, having the arms close to your body when you do this one. So do as many as you can for the minute, taking that break when you need to. Let's do two more. Okay, going on to the triceps. So leaning forward and so I'll just show you as standing, but you'll be seated like this and you're just pressing that weight back. Okay, so you're doing the same thing in the chair. So you're just sitting on the chair, leaning forward, having the weight at your shoulders and press them back. Almost done. And let's just do one more. Excellent. Let's put the weight down. And let's do our ab exercise. So we're just leaning back and then we're just twisting from side to side. So really focus on your abs here, keeping them tight. Like already I feel that in my abs. You're just twisting slowly back and forth. Back is off the backrest if you manage that. And every time you're twisting, you're focusing on flexing the abdominals. We're going to go back into cardio here in about 10 seconds. Let's go into triceps. So pressing those hands back with taking a step back. Trying to get that heart rate up again. Okay, let's go into that jack and then arms in front. It's gonna be a little bit complicated. Just do your best.
last one here. And let's just do a punch to the side. And you can take a step out at the same time. And then just having your feet to the side and I just want you to punch as hard as or as fast as you can in front. This also gets the heart rate up. Okay, let's go into a bit of a skate, um, a ski. So just bringing an arm up and down. and then just dance this one out. So however you want to move. It's definitely much harder to dance in a seated position, but we will do our best. And let's go back to our high kicks and our punching. And let's just go into a walk here. For the next one, we're going to go, uh, we're going to bring our knees up high. And it's just like doing a figure eight on the side. And let's go back into that skater. So we've got one more minute of cardio. And let's go back into the elbows to the knees. So again, fo uh, focusing on the abdominals. Keeping those abs tight. And let's punch hard again, punch hard and fast and just kind of go in different directions here. So kind of whatever feels good for you. So moving your body around.
taking a nice deep breath and breathing out. So well, let's do a bit of a cool down here. Let's just bring our arms forward. Let's just tap our toes forward as well. So let's try and get that heart rate down. And let's just walk one foot out. Let's just relax the arms for a minute. Taking a nice deep breath in here. And breathing out. And then bringing a heel forward and just a light press in front. Now if you find that your heart rate is still quite high, just go to singles. And let's just bring the arms to the side and just press in back again, thinking about the triceps here. You're just pressing your hands to the wall behind. Taking a nice deep breath in and breathing out. Sitting up straight. arms down let's just bring one arm up one arm to the side so working our shoulders here but also allowing our heart rate to come down Let's just go into that single bicep curl. And then we're just going to press the arms forward. You can relax the feet here. So at the same time, think about stretching those arms out. So really feeling that throughout the arms. And now we are just going to lean to one side or reach to one side, feeling that stretch through your side. Focusing on some nice breaths here. Last one. Now let's just bring the foot up again and work on a little bit more of leg strengthening. Now if you can here, uh, do some sit to stands just to finish off the, with some extra leg strengthening exercises. So in case you don't know what the sit to stands are, you're just standing up and then sitting down again if you're able to. So we've got 30 more seconds of this exercise. And then we're gonna go into some balance exercises and then our stretching. Last one here on both sides. 
Okay, bringing one arm up, opposite knee, and we are just going to switch. So if you want to make it a bit more challenging, you can sit on the edge of the chair if you're able to. And just go slowly here, focus on balancing. We're also strengthening our core with this exercise. So when that knee comes up, think about flexing your abs. Slowing it down if you need to. Almost done this one. One more on each side. Excellent. Now let's just have the feet wide and we are just going to have our arms up and you're just going to reach in one direction, focusing on your balance here, coming back to center and then reaching the other way. So you'll feel a stretch here as well down your side, but the goal here is to just focus on balance. Almost done. Last time on this side. And then let's get into position for stretching. So I'm just gonna turn my chair and make it a little bit easier for you to see. So let's just bring the hands together, pressing the hands out in front. Feeling that stretch in your back, your upper back. And then let's just stretch forward. So feeling this in your lower back. So come out of the stretch when you need to. It can be a pretty intense stretch. So we're going to reach forward, but come out of it if you feel you have to. Let's roll ourselves up. And we'll go into that one one more time, but this time we're gonna reach in each direction. So I'll kind of, I'll explain whenever we're doing it. So let's just reach forward. And leaning in one direction coming back to center and the other side. Coming back to center, rolling yourself up. Good, having the hands together, pressing the arms back, feeling that through your chest. And also have your hands this way and reaching back. Let's reach one arm up overhead as high as you can to the ceiling. And then the other side. And let's bring one foot forward. So try to, try to sit on the edge of the chair so you can really get the best benefit out of this one. Trying to have that leg as straight as you can and then leaning forward. And switching to the other side. And let's bring the foot up onto the knee. If you can't do this one, you can also do this, this stretch and then lean forward. But if you're able to, bring the ankle onto the knee and then lean forward. And then switching to the other side. coming out of 
that one. Let's just bring one foot forward. This time just uh, flex the foot so toes are towards you and then lean forward and you'll feel this more in your calf this time in the lower part of your leg. So lean forward as much as you need to to really feel that stretch. And then switching to the other side. And then sitting up, let's bring one arm up overhead, drop the hand behind as if you're patting yourself on the back and then just press that elbow back. Feeling that here in your triceps. And then switching to the other side. And then bringing one arm in front, crossing that arm in front of the body and pulling that arm in for a shoulder stretch. switching to the other side, arm goes in front, cross it in front of the body, and pull that arm in. And then relax that arm. Let's just do some, focus on the neck a little bit. So let's just drop the ear down to the shoulder, relax into that position feeling a nice stretch down the side. And then slowly roll your head forward and bring your ear to the other shoulder. And holding in that position. center again and this time just looking over your shoulder and hold and to the other side and let's do that again so switch sides and the other side again And looking center, this time just looking up to the ceiling. And then we're going to look down to the floor and hold as you're looking down. And we're just going to do one more for the neck because I know it's uh, a, a lot of people have a lot of tightness in their neck. So let's just drop the ear to one side again. And with the opposite arm, you are just pressing lightly to the side. Switching sides. And then let's just reach to one side. So we're just going to lean and reach, feel that down through your side. the other direction. And then finish them with a few nice deep breaths. Let's just take a nice deep breath in, big stretch up, and breathing out. Let's do that again. And breathing out. Last one. Let's just bring those shoulders back three times. Taking a nice big breath in and out. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you all a lovely day. 
See you next time.